Hello, welcome to my channel and thanks for checking out today's video. My name is Chris. If you're new here, we have a ton of videos on this channel all about jackets, all kinds of outdoor apparel from Heli Hansen, Rab, Patagonia, Arcteryx, and a few others. Um, we look at all these different jackets. I kind of give you what I call all abouts instead of reviews. Um, it's just a description of what the jacket is all about. How it fits, what are some of its features, maybe showing you a little combination, a little layering with it and helping you to understand you know better uh, if you're looking to purchase one of these jackets what jacket might be right for you. So again, thanks for checking in. Please hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're into this stuff. I've got over a hundred videos out here already and we keep uh, pumping out more and more good stuff. So today's video, we are looking at the Rab Vital jacket. This is basically a really extremely lightweight nylon wind shell. Now there's a lot of companies out there that make a similar product. Um, these are very popular jackets. It's extremely lightweight. It packs up into this little cinch sack, which comes in the pocket of the jacket. And you know, you can pack this thing, throw it in your backpack, you can hook it on your backpack either way. But the point is this thing weighs nothing and it packs up into this little bag. So very a minimal effort to bring this with you. And it is just a wind shell, okay? It's not gonna give you much warmth as it's uh, not insulated. It's just a thin nylon shell. So Typically, I would uh, imagine you're going to be wearing this on top of something, okay? It just is an extra protective layer. Now, this also, as well as being pretty much windproof, it also has a um, DWR coating on it that helps to repel light rain. So, um, you know, any kind of light rain, drizzle, or moisture is going to beat up on this jacket and kind of run off. Um, these jackets that have these DWR coatings are really nice because the water just kind of beads up on it and if you just give it a little shake all the water flies right off like dry again so it's really kind of cool <laughs> all right um, so this jacket is basically um, just a light hooded jacket. The hood is actually pretty cool on this. There's a stretchy elastic around the face, but it has a little brim that protrudes out over the top, if you can see, of that um, elastic -y, you know, area around your face. So it kind of seals up pretty nice around your face and then has a little extra brim on the top to help the water run off so it is not directly running into your face. Um, now the other little nice feature with this jacket, let me just fix this hood, um, is that it has a little button <laughs> here in the middle where you can button it up inside. So if you're looking to like unzip the jacket if you start getting hot and you want to unzip it for some breathability, it still kind of sticks together. So it's almost kind of like having a double zipper, right? Where you can unzip it to just vent some heat out without totally opening up the whole jacket. All right, so that's kind of a nice little feature with this. Um, inside, while I have this open, inside the jacket, we don't have any pockets. It's a very minimalistic, lightweight jacket. Outside, two nice pockets. They're nice, deep pockets. Um, just, again, just a nylon lining. And this is a ripstop fabric as well. So it is a pretty durable little piece. So if you're going to be wearing a backpack or something with this, I don't think you're going to have a problem at all. You know, it is nylon. It is, it is, um, it's pretty tough, all right? So yeah, I mean, that's it. We have around the wrist, we have an elastic uh, stretchy band around the bottom half of the wrist here. Uh, the top half is not stretchy, but the whole bottom ring is. Um, so it, everything seals up quite nice. It's a very simple piece. Uh, you know, I said it again and again, um, but that's all these jackets are meant to be just like the Squamish hoodie from Arcteryx, the um, 
Houdini from Patagonia. There's a Rapide from Heli Hansen. Um, also, Arteryx makes a Noden. Um, very lightweight. I mean, you can almost hold these jackets up <laughs> and see through them. Okay, they are just made as a protective wind shell. All right, um, just to show you how light these jackets are, uh, it's just, you can see, right? It just kind of floats down. Um, really, really cool. All right, so I am wearing underneath this, because I just want to show you a little bit about layering it, um, a lightweight, this is a Kyanite LT fleece from Arteryx. So a really lightweight, stretchable fleece that provides just a nice bit of warmth on, on a, you know, cool days. Nothing, you're not going to be wearing this so much when it's freezing cold unless you're doing a real high output activity. But if you're just going outside, you walk your dog, going shopping, whatever, <laughs> um, it's probably not going to provide that much warmth, especially if there's a cool breeze. Because a lot of these fleeces can um, allow air, right, to, to go through it. So you will feel a cold breeze through this light fleece. So, this is perfect. Wearing this um, Rab Vital wind shell on top of this will block that wind and help to hold that heat in. So it's a great lightweight combination too if you're going to be, you know, going for a walk, a light hike, something like that in a warmer weather. Maybe in the summer, um, the mornings or in the early evening as it's getting cooler. This is a really nice combination for that. All right. So thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Check out all these videos. Um, if you're into, you know, all this stuff, I've got a ton of information here for you. Um, as with these jackets, I also have um, videos on some of the other companies, okay? Like I said, the Patagonia, Houdini, the Arcteryx jackets, the Heli Hansen jackets. You can kind of see and combine. I'll compare. They're all very similar, but they each have their separate little differences. And sometimes those one of those little differences might make one jacket a little bit better for you than for somebody else or whatever. So check them out. And uh, again, thanks for watching. We'll see you back soon. Take care. Bye.